Day 29 of 31 Days of Story. Wanted to share with you the story that you want to tell for a pre-screen interview. The pre-screen interview is a way of the hiring person to check if you are, you know, the kind of person that they want to meet in person. <laughs> really, that's it. Sometimes, you know, the HR will get, um, or the hiring people, like whichever, whoever the decision makers are, will get resumes that seem really polished. And then when they call the person, it becomes quite obvious very, very, very soon into the call that, you know, the person who they're speaking to didn't write their resume because they are speaking a completely different kind of language. Um, which is, you know, that could be a resume issue, but, you know, as long as you are using your own words and your resume sounds like you, and you're going to sound the same on the phone, then there's nothing to be worried about because you're telling a consistent story about yourself. So it's that, it's that they're calling because they don't, you know, it can be a real waste of your time and their time and other people who are involved in the hiring process's time. If, you know, you're not the right person, like why waste the time of all that traveling and getting together if you're really not even going to be considered. So it's just like a pre-screen to see if, you know, everything that you said on your resume is true, if you're available, if you're still interested. And that's, you know, the story that you want to tell is a story of being interested in the role, of being available, of uh, showing them why you want to work for them in that role and in that company, and a little bit about why you're qualified. And it's not um, huge memorized speeches that you want to be giving, but those, that's it, is you're telling the story. When you answer the phone, you're in the role of a character who is telling the story about being excited and prepared and qualified for the role that they're talking about. And that is, that is the through line of your story things, you know, stories that you want to have is you want to know why you applied for the job. So, you know, if they say, hey, why did you apply for the job? You can tell them exactly why, what interested you about the role. If they ask you why you are available for the job, then you want to have the story about why you're available. So why are you thinking about leaving your current company or why you're no longer working? And you can phrase those both in really positive ways where you're not, um, putting down your current employer and you're not, um, you know, if you experience job loss, you're not putting down your current employer and you're not showing, you know, desperation or like you're still attached when you answer that question. So work on uh, your leaving story. The last one of those is, you know, what qualifies you for this job. And so having an example about any education or experience, and again, not five minutes, but a really short bit of like, here's why, and here's a little example of work that I've done. And usually those calls are only, you know, like 15 to half hour calls. And so you don't need to, to add, you know, a whole lot more. They might ask you some questions that are extra screening ones. And then those ones, it's okay to not be prepared for them. You just want to be open and present and tell them the truth when they ask the question. And then hopefully if you're telling the right story, then they'll invite you in to meet them in person. So thanks for watching. I'll be back with video number 30. Thank you. Bye.